My daughter Emily was diagnosed with high-risk neuroblastoma in 2009. She was four. When her oncologist at Dana-Farber Boston Children's suggested a clinical trial testing whether two stem cell transplants were better than one, my husband and I were torn. A second transplant was risky. It would expose Emily to a lot more toxicity. But at the time, the odds for children with neuroblastoma were grim. And this might increase Emily's chance of survival. We said yes. Now, she's an active girl who loves soccer, basketball, and playing with her sister and her dogs. 